there are some cool filters in Photoshop and I haven't seen any tutorials based on those filters. So that's what we're going to explore today. And if you love designing and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, then please do subscribe. And there are lots to cover inside the tutorial section. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. All right, so here we are in Photoshop and first thing first, let's create an artboard and for that press Ctrl and N and same thing I'm going for 4x5 resolution to 300 color mode to RGB bitrate to 8 and let's keep the rest as default and let's click on create and right after that let's drag and drop uh, this uh, player image right over here and I'm gonna keep it right around here and let's drag and drop another image right over here now let's make it a little bigger Control t and yep let's keep it maybe right around here and let's keep it under this layer and let's move it right around here let's add a little rotation yep just just like so maybe increase the size a little bit yep let's keep it like that and then Let's increase the size for this one too. Yep. Just like that. All right. Now let's go over here and let's add a solid and let's give a kind of uh, darker red color. And you know what? Like, let's make it a little bigger, I guess. Yep. Let's just. Yeah. Let's keep it just like that. And maybe let's increase this size a little bit. Yep, let's keep it like that and let's click on OK. And let's go to filter and let's go to stylize and let's go to oil paint. And let's see. Yeah. And yeah, let's turn off the lightning and yeah, let's uh, keep that details to six and let's keep it like that and let's click on okay and again let's go to filter and let's go to filter gallery and i'm going to apply my favorite filter that is cut out and let's see yeah let's keep the level number at four and let's click on okay and let's do the same thing for this image so select this one go to filter and let's go for stylize and let's apply all paint and let's see yeah i'm going for kind of uh, same setting and let's click on ok and let's go to filter and let's go to filter gallery and let's go for cut out and for the label number yeah let's let's keep it as four and let's click on ok so this is what we got a control t let's make it a little bigger i guess yep let's keep it like that and let's click on okay yeah and then let's drag and drop this uh, texture right around here and let's change the blending more to darken Control T. Yeah, let's keep it maybe right around here. And then let's drag and drop this texture on the very top. And then let's change the blending mode to. Uh, lighten and control T let's move it yeah let's keep it just like so and then let's add some text Ctrl 
control T let's make it bigger yep and let's duplicate the layer and and control T let's move it a little down and then let's change the text Well, let's keep it maybe right around here. Let's go right over here and let's add a shape. So for that, I'm using a pen tool. So click on P and let's change it to shape and let's draw. Let's draw a shape. and let's change the color to kind of similar red let's make a copy ctrl j let's change it's the position yeah let's keep it right around here Yep, and let's make a one more copy. Control J. And let's move it right around here. All right, and then now, now let's add some few more text. of this shape layer control J and let's move it all the way to the top and control T let's move it just like that and then let's go on very top and let's add a color lookup and from here let's go for a flame stock and let's drop down the opacity a little bit maybe around 50 and let's drag and drop this logo right over here control T let's make it a little smaller let's keep it right around here and let's make a one more copy let's fill it with uh, let's see let's go for a white color yeah and then let's create a layer max or maybe select this one and press delete ctrl t let's merge this too and rename it as a logo again ctrl t let's make it a little smaller yeah just like that and yeah that's the final and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and I'll definitely see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.